Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Today, two NFC clubs going head-to-head -head as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Now this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 21 yard line. The high. The high. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. Fights him off. The game's first play produces six yards. Brings up second down. A six yard pickup. Up Throwing Cousins. This goes out wide for Madison. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 26 and a first down. A lot of times the key is just get him the ball and let him do his thing. And they got it out to him on the left side. And he did exactly that. Excellent run after the catch. Cousins on first down. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Make it slow, make it slow. That's good. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's second down. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 43-yard line. Throwing is Hurts. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Jordan Hicks. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon, as he ran off the field after making that play. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson, 47 yards. And the Vikings take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. And that flag accepted. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Hey, let's go. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. At the 35-yard line. On second down, Swift. Room here to run. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. First down, and they go with Swift again. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. Ball on the 47 yard line. Here's second and nine. Play action. Here's Hurts. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Alpha, 
Now Hurts changing up the play. Out of the gun now on third down. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And they'll go ahead and down this one right on the chalk of the 20-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Cousins now on second down. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, and it's been a quarter dominated by the guys with the football. They'll go Madison up the middle. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On the handoff, it's Madison. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Now a third and six. Off the play fake, Cousins. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. A defensive-minded coach loves to bring the heat, brought the heat there, and it worked out. And nowadays, all those defensive-minded coaches, for them, it's all about getting the football. I went into one facility, and as soon as you walked into the defensive room, there was a football, like on a spring, and each guy that walks in that plays has to act like he's knocking the ball free. They want those instincts created. They want them to think about that all the time. And that's what they try to preach. And yet again, he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Great job by this Vikings defense. On third down, here comes Swift. And some good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked by the linebacker, Brian Asamoah. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Following the interception, Cousins. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Now Cousins. That's caught downfield by Addison. Touchdown, Vikings! Jordan Addison. 34 yards, and the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Those are the touchdowns that aren't just scored on Sundays or on Monday night. Those are the ones that are scored during the week because they had that preparation in a great route run. Oh, I love that observation because you don't just roll out on game day and say, okay, go run this route and let's get it done. That means exactly what you said. The practice had to occur beforehand, which led to the timing, which led to the touchdown. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Austin Scott on the return from his end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. 
Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? 63, You're 63. worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles. Tough spot here. Third and long. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now third down and very long. Hurts. Under pressure, they got him again. But Hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. A loss of 10 yards brings up fourth down. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. Returnable here from the 38. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Here's Madison running on first down. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now we give to Madison. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different things into taking care of it and having ball security. In that case, though, we didn't see it. And Hurts is intercepted. His third of the game. Makai Blackman's got it. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Jefferson going to go in motion right. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They go play action. Cousins. This is Alexander Madison out of the backfield with a touchdown. Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon. And the Vikings take a three-touchdown lead. Boy, so if you are scoring at home, Charles, and God bless you if you are, but that's now three drives and three touchdowns. So in a baseball game, wouldn't that wreak havoc on your scorecard? Yes. <laughs> I mean, with all the action that's happening now, how they got here, whatever cliche you want to bring into it, they're locked into a groove, they're clicking on all cylinders. Bottom line, they're piling up the points. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now to me. It's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Airing it out deep for Smith. 
And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Harrison Smith. Now he's loose at the 40. Inside the 20. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. I mean, at this point, CD, what is not going their way in this first half? After that pick six, they now have a four-possession lead here. And that allows them to say to themselves, how about we get everybody involved, okay? Because this one is a runaway, and it's looking like it's going to be even more of a runaway. Everybody gets a chance to play and get a little bit of love. The more guys that get to watch the highlight reels from this one, the better. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Here's Hurts to throw. Flushed out right. And he's going to be brought down. Back in his own six-yard line. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Eagles nothing. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. First and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history, and that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. They go play action with Hurts. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first and 10, it's Swift. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. From the 47, it's second and five. Hurt sets up to throw it. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 39. He'll look to throw. This is Smith with a grab. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Oh, and now some trickery. They fake the spike. Oh, but it's not going to work. They'll go down. They got him. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. On play action, they'll throw. Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Goddard. So five yards here, five on the play. Third and seven now. On the option to give to Swift here. 
And he's going to come up well shy of the first here as the tackle's made right around the 12. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. Touchdown, Eagles! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Eagles offense staying out there. Of course, Hurts always a threat to run. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. Pass midfield, look out. Touchdown, Vikings! From end zone to end zone, it's a 106-yard return. And the Vikings are able to widen their advantage. Such an electric play, so much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Joseph connects on the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Scott on the return out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Eagles take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. His throw incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second down, here's Hurts. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They go play action here on first down. That's complete right around the eight. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Back to throw again. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And, well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, and I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit the defense, and he made sure to let his quarterback know 
Just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing, a partner. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. But first down, Hurts. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to have it here just past the 25. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. Here's second and 10. Throwing, Cousins. Completes this to Addison out left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. A first down throw for Cousins. Looking for Addison again, and he's got him again. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. So they go from one 42-yard line to the other as they come up now first and 10. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Cousins to throw it. And that's complete to K.J. Osborne. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 24-yard line. To throw, Cousins. Flush to his right. Open man, he's got Jefferson across the formation. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Cousins. Touchdown, Vikings. K.J. Osborne, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Vikings have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Joseph now to have the PAT. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now they got to get to the line quickly. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll throw on first down with Hertz. And this is caught on 
the sideline. Are the feet in? They are. What a catch. They'll get 34 yards there. Hurts. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. In a game that hasn't gone your way, you got thrown in the end zone at every opportunity and hopefully climb back in as much as possible. He put way too much on that throw, though, and that shot ends up with nothing. Hurts throw complete here to his receiver, Brown. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Throwing his Hurts. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Byron Murphy. And the Vikings are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Well, all I can do up here is just shake my head. I mean, six interceptions. I cannot imagine what he's thinking between the ears right now. Well, just think of how it is for his teammates because after the first few, you know. It got his man complete. Still going inside the 20. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, when they said before the game that they were going to try and execute every second of this contest, I, I guess that that was taken literally because here they are in the final moment to the fourth, putting another touchdown on the board, Charles, to add to this big lead. I'm not a big believer in 110%, but it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. They don't really care about what the optics show. They just want to finish the game off the way that they like to play it. Full speed, all out. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Greg Joseph to kick off for Minnesota. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And the drive will begin the at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. Let's we'll see what they do here. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense 